So summation notation or sigma notation, it's used when you want to add a bunch of numbers together. For instance, if you want to add all of the integers together up to 100, or all of the even numbers up to 70, or all of the odd numbers up to 101, starting at 1, or all of the square numbers uh, from 16 to 144. One more. This weird sequence here, 6 plus 11 plus 18 plus 27, all the way up to 146. I'll talk about that pattern in a minute. Okay, so summation notation is a really nice, neat way of expressing these ideas in a much more uh, concise and a much more exact way. Let's look at how it works. We start here with sigma, which means the sum of. Now, underneath sigma, we put our starting value. So n equals 1 means we start at the number 1. Now, on top here, we put our ending value, the value that we're going to end on. Uh, and finally, we put our expression or formula or function here that we're going to put each of our values into as we go along. All right, so let's apply that to all five of these because it doesn't work quite how you might be thinking right now. Now, the first one's relatively straightforward. We use our sigma symbol here, and then we say, right, my starting value is 1, so, so far, so good. My final value is going to be 100. Now, what function do I need to put each of the values in? What function do I need to put 1 into? What function do I need to put 2 in? Well, it turns out I just need to put it into n. So now what does this say? It says the sum of um, all of the integers from n equals 1 to 100 when they're put into the function n. Now what about this uh, next one here? How do we do that? I'll just put this over here this time. Okay, so we're going to need our sigma sign again because we're doing a sum. We're going to do that every time. Uh, now our starting value. Now you might be thinking my starting value is going to be 2. It's not. My starting value here is going to be 1, and you'll see why in a second. Now, my ending value, uh, 35. Now, that's because I'm going to be putting all of the integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, into a formula where they spit out these numbers. And that formula is going to be 2n. That means that I'm going to put 1 into 2n, and that's going to be 2 times 1, which will be 2. I'm going to put 2 into 2n, and that's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. Put 3 into 2n, and that's going to be 2 times 3 is 6. And so on, all the way up to 2 times 35, which is 70. All right, so you've got to be a little bit careful here. Don't just look at our first term. That's not our starting value. We need to figure out a formula that's going to spit these values out. And so now we come to this one, and we're going to have to figure out a formula that spits out all of the odd numbers. So let's start at n equals 1 again. I'll leave my starting value because I'm a bit unsure about that, so we'll come back to that in a little bit. Now, what kind of formula can spit out these values? Well, it's kind of like this formula here, except we write 2n minus 1. If I put n equals 1 into 2n minus 1, I'll get uh, 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1, which is 1. Now, what's my final value here? Well, let's think about it. Maybe it's 51. 2 times 51 is 102, minus 1 is 101. 51. Okay, uh, what about this, all of the square numbers? Well, this time we can mess with our starting value a little bit, because... We want all of our square numbers, so I'm just going to put n squared here. And where do I want to start? Well, the first square number is 16, which is 4 squared. So I'm going to start at n equals 4. And my last value is going to be 12. So now if I put uh, 4 squared, I get 16. 5 squared, I get 25. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 144. Now, this uh, last one in here, I've put it in. It's a bit of a, a doozy. Let's take a look at the formula that's required to make this. Now, I've really thrown this one in here just to show you that you can put anything here that you can dream up. Uh, this one is n squared plus 2n plus 3. So it's a quadratic, and we're putting in integers into the quadratic. 
Now, which integers? Uh, I believe this one starts at n equals 1. Just let me check. 1 squared is 1 plus 2 uh, is 3 plus 3 is 6. Yep. And the last value here must be 11. Okay, so that is uh, summation notation. Um, have a think about it. Have a play with some examples. Try some questions, but that's summation notation.